Hi and welcome back to AWE 2022 here from Lisbon. I'm here with Kimberly from Haptics. Hi. Hello, how are you? I'm really good and I'm looking forward to find out more about your company. So um, tell me more about Haptics. What exactly are you doing? Okay, so Haptics is a small, we're not really a startup, but we're a very small company, 45 people. We started in the year 2012 and we create um, haptic devices in order to provide you realistic uh, feedback in the virtual environment. We're working in virtual reality and we're working to provide tactile feedback, the human machine interaction in tactile telerobotic solutions. Okay. You know what? Actually, um, lots of my friends have tried it already. Oh, really? Yeah. I mean, uh, the friends here from this um, community and they are raving about it. They told me I have to try it. The most amazing thing that they've tried in VR. In VR. So I'm actually looking forward to it. Um, so um, this looks like huge, honestly speaking, right? Like the backpack and stuff. So uh, where is this actually being used? So it's across market sectors, across industries and disciplines. When you think about it, your hands are how you interact with your world. I mean, you see things and hear things, but in order to enact change, in order to really take part in something, you're engaging with your hands. Right. So um, in training, design, engineering, across industries and disciplines, you're using your hands, whether you're using them by themselves as the primary point of you know, contact, or perhaps you're using them with uh, uh, devices such as wrenches or hammers or a scalpel. So training people like surgeons, training maintainers, training you know anyone in um, developing um, experiential learning, developing kinesthetic learning, muscle memory, being able to use your hands naturally in the virtual environment, it, that's what haptics does. So we have in our gloves, we have 133 points of contact in each hand. It's pneumatically operated. We use microfluidics in all of our um, uh, devices. The microfluidic we're using here is air, so it's a pneumatic system. And those 133 points of contact are located in your fingertips and in the palm of your hand. You, so you have very high fidelity feedback. We have uh, the ability to make a pronounced deformation on your skin, and we do that because naturally, when you're interacting with things, you have four different kinds of receptors in your skin. We're activating three of the four. The only one we're not activating is a thermal receptor. So you will not feel hot or cold in this system, although we do have the capability to do that if anyone wants to reach out to us and uh, we can we can devise such a thing we, we had an earlier system that had thermal in it but frankly it comes down to a cost okay. issue right so um, if you um, are looking to uh, work and feel things you need this device you need this device there are <laughs> you other, need this device there are other haptic gloves in the market yeah but they all suck Oh, I, I wouldn't say that. You know, you want to you wanna have the right tool for the right situation. Okay, got it. So you so, don't want to use a giant sledgehammer to pound in a tiny carpenter right. nail. So, so this is something... Realistic. This is realistic. Exactly. If you okay. just need a proximity locator, you know, how close are you to okay. something? And you don't need this. Or, or a tracking, a hand tracking device. Okay. This is a very large hammer for that very small nail. Got it. We also do that, but we do so much more in our gloves. So uh, most of the gloves in the market are using what's called vibrotactile feedback. Right. So you have that in your phone. You get a call, you get a buzz. You get a, a message, you get a buzz. They put that in their uh, fingertips, and that's a proximity locator. How Got close it. are you something? If you grasp something, you get a sustained buzz. But you can't feel the physical properties. Right. If you want to feel the physical properties, we're the only Haptics. thing in town. Haptics. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So um, is there also some uh, forced feedback? Oh, absolutely. Forced feedback is the manner of conveying the solid nature of exactly. something yeah so we have this part. we have force feedback to the tune of eight pounds of resistive pressure per digit and it's passive force feedback so it'll stop your hand from collapsing into a fist as you are uh grasping something so in the digital world everything's a digital representation so if you were to grasp this microphone uh, your hand would pass through it as if it were a ghost microphone. Oh, like so now we need to stop your hand around the perimeter yeah, yeah, and is, that's what the force okay. feedback's for. So we have a braking mechanism behind each one of the digits so they're independently operated and right. we can provide eight pounds of resistive pressure per digit. Um, and the combination of making the deformations on your skin so you feel things with the force feedback is sufficient to make your brain jump the uncanny valley. I want to try it. Well, absolutely <laughs> I will. Try it. Okay, cool. Kimberly, thank you so much for introducing it. I will try it, uh, hopefully very soon now, and then I will tell you how I liked it. Excellent. Yeah, hold that down. Right.
And hold it down this time. Hold it down. And with your other hand, pluck the rope like it's a guitar string. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. This is cool. Wow. Now, all that top is going to be. No, I still have to, I have to plug it with. Okay, yes. Yes. So you want to operate both switches and the button. Are there any kinds of accessories? Okay. Yes. All right. Yes. It's so like like if you added that, it would literally not be a product that I would like I would be it would all my credibility. All right. Yeah. Okay. Cool. All right. Yeah. I did. Go to that green dot. And push the door open. Oh, yeah. Step out on the catwalk. Okay. Yeah. You've reached the rendezvous point. All the other ships are there to greet you. They didn't, Hello. Think, they didn't think you were going to make it. Yeah. You fly such a rust bucket of a ship. <laughs> there, so well they're done. They're shooting out fireworks. We welcome you, Captain Job. Cool. Yes. The the demo, I'll let Thank you, you so much. You are welcome. All right, so this was without a doubt the most convincing, haptic um, demo that I've ever seen and that I've ever felt, right? So, wow. If you have the chance to try this out, you should totally try this out. Like, feeling things in VR, this is simply the next level of awesomeness. So, if you are interested in this, check out Haptics. They can make this happen. Yeah, I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If yes, give it a thumbs up. And of course, if you have not yet subscribed to MRTV, absolutely do that now. I look forward to see you in the next episode.